Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on November the 13th, 2016. The title of the message is, Do you really love me? And the Lord Jesus began, My people, you are important to me. That is why I put you first in all that I do. I am concerned about all that concerns you. I think about you in the morning. I think about you in the evening. You are always on my mind. Nothing and no one else takes preeminence over you. You are the apple of my eye, my very precious heart. My love for you runs deep and is wide enough to encompass the universe ten times over. I can never run out of love for you. I love all my creation. My love is available to all, whether they are saved or not. My blessings belong to my children. Yes, I have put much in place that benefits all humanity, but there are blessings that only belong to those who profess me, Jesus, as Lord and Savior. You are my very own children, born again in the Spirit, a unique people whose destiny is heaven. In heaven, your eternal home is everything and more than you could ever desire. I have not withheld anything good from you, not here on earth and especially not in heaven. You truly are my most prized creation, one to whom I have given rule over a world I created. I have delegated dominion over all the works of my hand upon the earth to you. The earth is your domain, your kingdom. You are superior to everything else in it. To you I gave the power to protect it or destroy it. I would that you would do the former and not the latter. I love you. You are first in my life. What about me, my children? The world does not confess me Jesus as Lord and Savior. Therefore, they blaspheme my name at every turn. I mean nothing to them unless they are in a crisis or a life or death situation. And even then, when I in my mercy rescue them, they go on with their wicked lives without looking back, without even a thank you. They will be back, for trouble dodges the footsteps of every human being alive. More so, my children, who are faithful to me. I expect this behavior from the world. It is their nature. They will be back when they are in dire need. It hurts to be used when in need and rejected in times of peace. I overlook their treatment of me and instead seek to save their souls. However, they continue to blaspheme my name. Some people's hatred for me runs so deep they love Satan more than they love me. Yet all I have ever done is love them and open my arms, ready to welcome them into my home. But this is the world's way. It will never change. Instead, the blasphemers will get worse. What about you, my children? Am I truly the love of your life, your first love? Or do you, like the world, only come to me when you're in need or are in trouble? Am I more important to you than anything or everything else, including another human being? Do I come first in your life or is my place given to another? Show your love for me by putting me first and see how many blessings I bring into your life and your family's life. I love you, Jesus. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.